All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna install the uh, Blue Sea Systems fuse block. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I got the fuse box or block. And what we're gonna do, I do believe I'm gonna mount it on this back wall right here. So I got my Sharpie, I need to line it up. Go ahead and mark my holes, drill the holes, and I've got new stainless steel hardware to go ahead and mount it. And it's gonna go up right there. All right, the Sharpie wasn't working, so what I'm gonna do is just use a pretty tiny drill bit and just kinda mark the holes. holes drilled in there and vacuum all this crap up real quick. Now I got it in there. Just get a washer and a nut on the back side. I got it in there. Here's a look from the back side right there. Kind of terrible little corner back there. It's, this is what I'm gonna be using for my terminals from the Blue Sea Systems over to the battery. So 49 inches, six gauge, I got these at Walmart. Of course, you see the Everstart there. I took some red tape and just wrapped it around this one so I know this one's gonna be my positive, this one's gonna be my negative, and they, they're really, they're pretty cheap. I actually don't remember how much they were. They're like seven or eight dollars a piece. So they're gonna work perfect in this situation. I got the negative down there. It's it's tight. This isn't tight yet. And I did, I was able to ride them and there was enough room down here to go through this bottom garment down here. And got them just kind of hanging out here. But it's gonna look very good and very clean. So there is enough room if you see on the plastic right here at the bottom, kind of where my thumb is right here. There's still enough room, even with this thick gauge wire, that this will still close. All the other wires, it won't have a problem. And that's, that's kind of how it will be right there. Uh, let's finish tightening everything up. Okay. Got my voltmeter. Now you get a positive off one of the batteries. 12.3 volts. Perfect. I guess we can use we'll use the the big battery I got so far. So that's what I'm gonna wire them up to. And then we'll have power going to the box. And from the box, I'm guessing I'm gonna put my main switch into the wire or, or on the wires coming out of this. So every wire that is hot that's gonna be going to a item, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to wire them all together, I guess, for my main on and off switch that will kill power to here before it reaches everywhere else. So once that switch is flipped, it'll break right after everything goes hot here. And then that way it'll turn the gang on and off. I'm trying to sit here and think about this in my own head. Yeah, I think that's it. Something like that.
All right, let me check this out, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much volts we got. Let me pop the cover. All right, negative. 12.43 volts to the block. Now we're good to go. We can start running all the awesome stuff now. Light score. Cut it back on there. Boom. All right, Abel's gonna help me out real quick. I'm just gonna, quick little demonstration. So I got main positive, main negative from the switch gain and she's gonna control the on and off switch. So I'm just gonna to touch the terminals here. It's on. See the switch gang on? Now flip it off. Flip it on. Flip it off. Flip it on. There you have it. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm making eight basically jumpers and these are coming from the switch itself and they're going to be running over here to the block so what i'm doing put one of these connectors on the end of it and i've got eight of these to make one for each switch game Hey, there's UPS. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And we got a pretty good box in the mail just now. I'm really going to like what's in this box. I will show you. Perfect. All right, so I've got eight of these to make. Get to it. All right, check this out. Midwest military equipment. Imagine they know what's in this box. May not. These are two together. Let's crack it open. Christmas. Oh yes. Holy crap. Look at the turn signals. Man. Everything's labeled. Ground. Dude. God, this looks so good. Adoosh. Shall we? So I'm gonna see if I can get some helpers to help me put on these turn signals. Any volunteers? Any volunteers at all? Like one? What about, just for a second? Just one? No? What about a half of a person? Oh well. Let's put these turn signals on. Start with feeding all these in. They will fit. So here's the two ground. 
I put them on the bolt. All this other junk can just get out of the way for right now. Let me grab the light. These are the only two that need to be grounded to the light. Ugh. Missile wires in here. Okay, a little grease, a little grease, a little grease, a little grease. That's it, three, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. This is always the way, when the one with the two, I think this is like the 400, uh, 467, 491, 491. The other one's, yeah, 467, whatever.
baggy. I had painted this a long time ago. Oh, would you imagine? Look at that. Would you look at that? Stainless. Thanks for your help today, guys. I really appreciate it. I was so close. I was right there. Mm. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you like the content on the channel, smash that like button and subscribe button. Boom! Till next time. <laughs>